Hey everyone, we're live! Hey, hey guys, are you all here? Hello? I've just realised that the YouTube had not properly gone live. So even though it said go live, it wasn't connecting through okay. So I'm really sorry, I'm here. Can everyone confirm? Can they see me? Can you see me now? I am now live. I'm here. Can you confirm that you can see me? Hello, I'm right here. Just somebody confirmed that they can see me. Hey, right, so unfortunately, even though it said go live, the YouTube wasn't going live, and I've had to reset it a few times, so it's now, we are here, okay, everyone, really sorry. Um, I just want to paste a message here, and I just want to say that if you want to have a standard chance of winning one of five Elemental Cloud licenses, you've got to click that link, Go to the video and leave a comment to say, I will use Elemental Cloud for whatever you want. But you need to put something in there just to say that um, what are you going to use Elemental Cloud for. So you need to click this link. Really sorry. For some reason, YouTube would not let us go live. It just kept saying fail, 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 which was really odd. But anyway, we're here. Right, Elemental Cloud. It was out quite, a, you know, many months ago but it's now been kind of relaunched in the last week or so. Why? Because I think they've modernized and made the facility and the, and the ability to use it so much better. I'm going to focus a little bit on what you can do with the cloud. Does it work for you? Is there going to be any benefit? And I'm also going to address a few limitations that you really, really need to be thinking about. Um, okay, right. So I'm just going to minimize my screen. Here I am. I'm right down here. Um, by the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Um, please do subscribe, share, and follow. You know, um, we do have a mastery membership for mentorship and coaching. But hey, make sure you subscribe and join in with our other live chats that we do back onto the cloud. To sign up to Elemental Cloud is dead, dead simple. You log into elemental.com. And then once you've logged in, you will have the facility to purchase a cloud. It's only $99, okay? Just checking the messages here. Do, 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 uh, yep, yeah, cool. Um, so it's $99. What do you get for that? Well, you get Elemental Pro, and for $50 extra, you get Google Cloud Hosting, because that's where it's hosted, Google Cloud. So that's just over $4 a month. That's pretty good value. But if you've got 25 licenses or 1,000, why would you want to be paying $49 for Elemental Pro as part of the license? Well, Think about it from a client point of view. How many of your clients have any form of hosting arranged when they come to contact you? Some of them assume that the minute you build a website, it's live. But for $99 per year, you get Pro and you get the Google uh, Cloud experience as well, which can be a good or a bad thing. Just a reminder, okay, just posting down into it in the comments, you must leave a comment on that video link I've just pasted if you want to stand a chance of winning one of five licenses. And I will be announcing the winners for that in about 25 minutes. Okay, we're only, we're not, you know, we're not going to be live for five hours here today. This is just a short half an hour slot. Once you've logged in, uh, you will have the facility to see hosted by Elemental. And when you hover over any websites you connect or any licenses you have, it says open WordPress dashboard, edit with Elemental, or manage this website. Let's go to manage this website. And please, any questions you've got or anything I ask or say, you can click on here or leave a comment and I will check. Don't forget to visit that video link I've already told you about and leave your comment. Now, if you've got your domain, let's say you've purchased your domain with SiteGround or 123Reg or wherever, and your hosting provider was SiteGround, sometimes you have to do a DNS name change. You know, you put in like the hosting server ID and it might take one hour, 24 hours or 48 hours to propagate over. That's how it works, okay? If you are trying to connect your own domain to Elemental Cloud, you are given the A record. Now, if you do not know how to do this, let your hosting provider know and they'll talk you through it. But you would, you would create an A record in your domain, there's always a facility to do it. It's relatively simple. And you would put that in and it will connect your domain. It's pretty, pretty simple and easy to do. Um, however, 
if you um are if you um sorry, let me get this right. If you have a domain which is does not have www dot in, so I'm talking about this domain here, propptwebsites.com, the one we tested it with. When you create your domain uh, name change with this code here or whatever one you get given, you must repeat it again for www dot down here. Let me show you here. See this bit here? www dot. So even though our domain name was proptwebsites.com, you got to do it again with another record with the same ID for www dot. If you don't, you will get a bit of a problem. So Frank has asked a question about what is the RAM allocation. That I have not had answered yet from Elementor, but I know they're doing a live chat on the 10th of March. So I would recommend you ask the question there. I've already asked them as well. I'm waiting for them to get back to me on that one. I'm just gonna very quickly again remind everyone, you've gotta leave a comment on that video if you wanna stand a chance of winning one of five cloud licenses. Once you've connected your domain, like I said, there's the code to do it. It took about half an hour, which I was really impressed with how quick and easy it was to do. It took half an hour. Now here's the limitations. You cannot purchase a domain on Elemental yet. You can't do that. You've got to purchase your domain elsewhere and then connect it. The other limitation is you don't get any email provision. So a lot of our clients, the domain they purchase, exactly what George is saying there, because of the cloud fair, because of um, you know the, the facilities that are set up with Elemental Cloud, if you just connect your domain without creating a WW version, you don't have to buy it. You just create it when you do your DNS name change. It will then connect everything through properly. Um, now, that you don't get email. So a lot of our clients, they purchase a domain with, say, 123reg. They then purchase their hosting with SiteGround, and SiteGround give them the email as part of it. When you bring your domain here, you will not get email. OK, so if you're hosting your email elsewhere, you may be paying a double charge. Now, in the video, OK, this video here, again, the instructions for how to enter the competition. In that review video, I show you the solution of how you could maybe use Zoho.com. You can use what you want. Use what you want and what you're happy with. But Zoho.com, it's pretty cheap and it's a pretty good solution to use. You know, we're talking less than a dollar a month. It's not even that, actually. You can use it for free as well. There's a free option, so you're not paying for email. To set your email up with your domain. But I would recommend you buy your domain and your email from Zoho, and then you connect up to Elemental.cloud or Elemental Cloud. I have asked a question. So I'm going to let you all know now. I have asked a question, and, I, and the answer I got was, let's just wait and see. And the question was, Will Elemental Cloud have the facility to buy a domain and provide email hosting? They did not say no, but they also kind of said, just wait and see. And I am very optimistic. I think at some point this year, we will have that facility here. Because I think that once you get that in, you now have like a full-blown solution. Because for anyone who's a little bit technophobe, with doing any of these DNS name changes, you're kind of missing a, you're missing a trick there. Okay, um, right. So once you've um, connected up, you can then basically just go into your website and start working on it as you would with any Elemental WordPress website. But can you see down here, and I'm just going to move myself because my lovely face is covering it. And I'm just going to just increase the size of the screen a little bit as well. So just bear with me a little bit. Uh, can you see? You probably can't see it. There you go. Can you see that little um, uh, uh, dinghy with a lifeboat just over down there? Can you see that? This is your live support chat. Look, I'm in the way again. There we go. Look, there's the live support chat. Right. Let me do it again. Right. Let me do it again. Let me click that. So if there is any issue with, by the way, this was me testing it out. Uh, this, um, if there's any issue with your Elemental.cloud, 
you have got the facility to have a live site chat support, whatever you want to call it. Uh, TJ took two minutes to start speaking to me. Not speaking, not blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about, you know, chat support, typing. Um, Angel took uh, four minutes, but it was really late at night. And Igor took 10 seconds. 10 seconds from the point that I started a new conversation. He was talking to me. What do I want? I told him my issue or a fake issue and he started giving me a solution. And I was pushing and testing them out with stuff. One of them was emails. One of them was about domain names. Nothing to do with Elementor. I was talking about hosting problems, purging, um, purging the site, stuff like that. Now, look, new conversation. It's so simple, but we're going to go a bit further with that in a moment. There is another limitation. So I've mentioned emails. The other two limitations are you cannot have a staging site. Feels a bit odd, doesn't it, that we can't have a staging site because we always say to everyone, whenever you update on Elemental, you must do a staging site. But there is no staging facility here. But if I scroll down, you do have the facility to lock your website, which means it won't get indexed on Google, which you could do within WordPress anyway. But you can also lock the website down. So if anyone goes to the URL, okay, if anyone goes to the URL, um, I just saw some of the messages coming on there. If anyone goes to the URL, it basically says this website is um, under maintenance. Again, you could do that within uh, WordPress anyway. You do get the facility to have backups. So look, this is daily backups occurring. Some of them multiple times as well, automatic backups occurring there. So even though you don't get the staging site facility, you do have backups and you can create a new backup anytime you want. So what I would recommend you do is if you are testing updates or plugins or whatever, or you're a bit nervous about something, I would create a new backup and then do it. And if things go wrong, you would just roll back to one of your backups, use the restore or the export or however you want to do it. So yes, we don't have the staging site, but you have got this facility. However, they are probably most likely looking into the staging site as well. Okay. And the third thing that you can't do on here, which again, I raised a question about, what do you think it is? What do you think is the third thing? Emails, staging, what is the third thing? Sorry, that's my middle finger. What's the third thing do you think I, want it, I asked them about? Purging the site. So I always tell everyone when you update your website, you need to regenerate your CSS. You need to purge your site. Sorry, purge your site you can do within WordPress. I meant purge the server. I'm mixing up my words here, aren't I? Purge the server. You cannot purge the server. So by not being able to purge the server, I feel like that's a limitation that does need to be addressed because sometimes the only way you can get your live website to show what's happening in your editor is by purging the server. And I think that's something they need to do. I don't actually know. Right. Um, the, the database files, that is something else um, you can't access at the moment. So in terms of like your WP, your file manager or anything like that, there are obviously plugins for that. But you are missing that at the moment. You are missing that facility as well. So, so there's, there's, there's quite a few limitations that might bother some people. And I would say that if it bothers you, um, you then got to have a think about, is this the right solution for you? Now, if I just click on to open WP dashboard, right? And hopefully it's going to take me through. We are live, by the way. Let me just do that again. Ah, sorry, there we go. Yeah. So this has now brought me through to the dashboard and I've already started testing it out with some plugins. I'll show you some of the plugins I've already installed. Activity log, asset cleanup, auto optimize, Elementor, Elementor Pro, Rank Math, WooCommerce, WooCommerce Payments, WP Fastest Cash. These were all working fine. I've been testing them out. What you have here, and I think you can clearly see, this is just normal WordPress Elementor. And basically, everything you could normally do, you can do here. 
there are limitations though with some plugins you can't add in and I'm just going to show you that if I go to add new um, and I'm going to go for uh, I don't know let's just go with Divi I know you, we're not here for Divi but I, it's easier for me to show you this actually no it's not Divi what was it it was a uh, vivid Surprisingly, I can't see them. So normally what was happening was, um, for some reason it's not doing it, which is a bit all in one. So normally what happens is you get a list. For some reason it's not showing me right now. That's weird. I wonder if they've done something to remove them completely. So, ah, here you go. Right, so here's an ink jetpack. I don't rate jetpack. I want to tell you right now, I don't use jetpack. But if you use Jetpack, it is not supported on the Elemental Cloud. So if I click Learn More, here are all the plugins that are not supported on Elemental Cloud. Beaver Builder. Well, obviously, why would they put Beaver Builder on there? Um, I, I think Divi is supported as well, but there are Visual Composer. Who cares? But there are some plugins on here that some of you might actually use. Really simple SSL, maybe. You do get SSL with Elemental Cloud. Okay, you do get SSL already. So you would, in my opinion, you wouldn't need to use really simple SSL. I can't see the need for it. Okay. Let's just scroll down. So look, you can now see SiteGround Migrator you can't use. You can't use WP Reset. You can't use Migrate Guru uh, Duplicator. You can't use Updraft Plus as well at the moment. So... There are some limitations as to what you can and can't do at the moment, okay? Um, so you may find that you try and install a plugin and you get hit by a block. Now, these are not permanent blocks. At some point, Jetpack might become accessible. Uh, Croco Block is on there. Um, I don't think there is any limitation with Croco Block, if I recall. Or the Jet Smart filters or anything like that. I think they're pretty much okay. So look, Jet Form, Jet Widgets, um, a lot of them are still okay. But no Updraft Plus. But in terms of working on the website, in terms of building, you know, uh, templates, this is just normal Elemental WordPress, right? You can still use your, um, you can still create your accounts. You can still create users. You can still do everything you can. But... There is another limitation, and I think this is an important one to understand, right? If I go to all users, can you see my username? What does my username say? It says admin. I can create user accounts, but my user account is admin. Therefore, um, I can't change it as well, which is really weird and annoying. And I would like to think that Elemental changed that because at the moment, my username is admin, which, you, believe me, anyone here who's ever worked with WordPress or any login system will know you do not pick admin as your username. You just don't. So that is a shortcoming I think they are going to address very, very soon, in my opinion, because it has been highlighted by others as well. But in terms of um, what you can do, in terms of pages and using Elemental, unless it's a plugin you really, really want to use, there is no limitation, if, if that makes sense. So the things that need to be addressed are buying a domain on here would be great. Having your emails provided on here would be great. Uh, purging the server would be great. Admin name would be great. And hopefully unlocking some of the uh, other plugins. The reason why they've locked down some of them is because there's no need for them to be there. Like, why would you allow Divi on an Elemental Cloud? It doesn't totally make sense. Or there's an issue of incompatibility with some of the plugins. So that's why they're trying to be a little bit careful. Um, you Right, okay, so Franco, if you try to add in, if I try to create a user account with a different admin name, but it's the same email, it won't work. WordPress does not allow you to have two admin, two different users with the same email address. It does not like that. It just froze out. It's a, it's a bit of a problem, okay? Um, so you can't do that. You could, of course, 
create another account with another email. Hey, I've got over 49 billion email accounts because I like to have different identities. That you could do, but it would be nice if they sorted that out. Um, I'm just going to wait and see if there's any questions anyone on here has at the moment about anything I've said. Please do remember that you have to visit that video link I'm pasting there at the moment because if you don't, you won't get entered into the competition to win one of five Elemental Cloud licenses. I'm just checking the comments right now to see how many comments are coming in. And it's really good to see you all putting messages. Thankfully, none of you have put an animated GIF. That is good. I'm so glad you've not done that. So, I mean, the other thing I do want to mention, and I hope you can see it on the screen, is do you remember that lifeboat over here? Can you see the lifeboat in, Ele in Elemental Cloud? Oh my goodness! It is also on our WordPress website. Look at this. Look at this. We are in WordPress, people. We are in Elemental WordPress people. People, WordPress. People, WordPress, WordPress. You get what I'm saying. I could start to have a conversation with someone after I've put in my email. Obviously, it's for verification. So I've now got an issue with maybe a template, maybe a widget, maybe the menu's not working, maybe the testimonial carousel is missing a button for the arrows. <laughs> Oh, the slider is missing a button for the arrows. Someone on here will understand what I'm talking about, right? You could now start chatting with someone because what tends to happen is you have a problem and you go to Elemental Support, right? And you are then waiting for an answer on the same day, next day, whatever. You're now getting access to people, support, much faster. Now, this that does not mean you get a lesser support in the elemental support forums and whatever. They're still there. But you're going to get most likely faster support here than what you would get before. And I think anyone out there that is new to elemental and they're still testing it out and they're a bit unsure and they get stuck quite a lot or they don't understand themes or templates... Um, single product templates, you know, things like that. This could be a lifeline for them that I think could really, truly help them out. Hey, Dave, you're not late. You're not, Dave, you're late. You're not late, Dave. You're right. Um, we're only going to be live for about 10, 15 minutes more. So, you know, you're not going to miss a huge amount. Um, just checking a question here. Antoine says, no, no, James, you don't need to put, James, you don't need to put an animated GIF. I was joking. Antoine, Zoho seems to be tripping up. Um, I can't answer the question about why it won't let you buy a Google domain. Um, um, I'm not sure about that. Sometimes um, domain providers only have access to certain types of domains. Like I know a domain that I could buy on 123reg. I could not get on SiteGround. It's all to do with the extensions sometimes. Um, Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. So and when, right. Okay. So when an image is added, obviously it's going to go into your WordPress media library. That's where your images get added. However, you don't have access to like the WordPress file manager that you would on a normal hosting provider. And that's another question that I have asked to the elemental people just to answer. Most likely it's going to get answered in the live chat they've got on the 10th of March, which is in about what, six days time. So I would definitely go and join into that. Um, but um, the fact that you have this here, I think is major, major important. The fact that you have it here on the Elemental Clan, I'm telling you, I kid you not, 10 seconds for this person here to start answering me. And it was a question about purging the site. And, and they knew their stuff. They were not dismissing me. Or just giving me a hyperlink to go and read a page. Yeah, here's the answer. Go and read it here. They took their time to help and solve. And, you know, I was within one hour of me signing up, registering or pulling my domain over, waiting for it to propagate because I had to do it for this one. And then I realized I need to do it for www. as well for the Cloudfare thing. 
one hour in total, I was away using Elemental. You know, I, I was I was doing stuff here. Um, so if I've got a new client, right, let's think of it from a business marketing point of view. If I've got a new client and they haven't got hosting sorted out, um, I would tell them to where to get their domain and I would now make sure they get it with the email provision as well, connected to their domain so they don't miss out or anything. I would tell them you don't need to worry about SSL because that will be provided within Elemental Cloud. And then I'll get them connected over. And if you've got a maintenance program or package with them, this is quite good money. I mean, you're going to say you, you're going to tell them it's forty nine dollars for Elementor, so they will probably end up paying you for that. You might then end up charging them, I don't know, ten pounds, twenty pounds a month for hosting and maintenance. That's now what to say you you know let, it's about thirty five pounds in the UK Elementor Pro plus two forty year hosting. That's two seven five. But it's $99, which when you add on VAT and conversion comes back to about 99 anyway. So you're making profit on that as part of your maintenance package. And you know that rather than them being connected to, say, SiteGround or GoDaddy, why would you go to GoDaddy? GoDaddy, HostGate or whatever. If you... Um, okay, look, let me back step a bit. You know when you use SiteGround and your client is, and you're using Elementor, and there's a problem, and you go to SiteGround, they'll sort out the hosting problem. They won't advise on the Elementor problem, because that's nothing to do with them, third party. Now here, if you had a problem with your cloud, or your website, the same team behind your hosting would probably be able to answer that. And there's the benefit in itself. So many people, they have an issue with their website. You find out they're with GoDaddy. They're on the phone for an hour with GoDaddy. And GoDaddy go, oh, it's Elemental's fault. No, it's probably not. It's probably the hosting. But no one wants to admit where the fault lies. By having it all in one place, I can see huge benefits. And I do think, okay, by the way, just to remind everyone, you got to put your comment in that video. you got to put your comment in that video, okay? By having it in one place, once they provide domains and emails, that will be the icing on the cake. Purging the server, accessing the WordPress files, of course, they are important. Don't get me wrong. But if you could purchase your domain and your email provision all in one place, we suddenly have like an all-in-one package going on here. This does not mean that the normal way of using Elemental with licenses goes out of fashion. No, Elemental are not getting rid of it. This is just another way of supporting the customer base. And if your client does not care where they're hosted or whatever, they just want a website online. Of course, they care about the price. The cost solution here is so effective. I mean, can I, I mean, $99. You get Elemental Pro and you get your hosting. Of course, your email. I mean, I've already worked out, okay, that for uh, 20, roughly 20 pounds a year, about $24 a year, that would cover your emails and your domain if you went to, say, zoho.com. So we're looking at $124 roughly a year. Elemental Pro, your hosting, your domain and your email, $124 a year. As part of your mo hey, as part of your hosting maintenance package, if you're charging someone $200 or $250, $250 a year, half of that pays the resources, the other half is profit. So it pays for itself. Hey, Major Fusion, so I'm just reminding everyone, okay, um, please enter the competition to win your Elemental Cloud license. Do not miss out, because I don't know if I'll ever be able to do this again. The fact I got five licenses to give away to you is like... <sighs> brain explosion time, right? Um, so, I want to make very clear, though, that there are limitations. I've mentioned them. I've raised them with Elemental. 
I think this can get better. And to have it where we are now, I think is really, really good. This hoodie is Bertha. It's uh, the Bertha hoodie, by the way. Bertha Artificial Intelligence. Laura Mipsum, it says killer. So I can't wear this to pick my son up from school. I think it would cause a problem if I wore this to school. I've gone and flicked one of the strands over. There we go. Um, I'm just going to quickly check the questions and then I'm going to jump over and start checking. So this is your final two minute warning. I'm giving a two minute warning now, right? I'm putting it over here. Two min warning. After this, I will close it down. So if you miss out, you miss out. All right, two min warning. Okay, two minute warning. Exactly. I mean, it's... It, it, I mean, I worked it out to be just over $4 a month, in a way, when you work it out. Okay, in pounds, it's even cheaper. Um, Rumen, does Elemental... Does yes, the ele the Elemental affiliate program also works with Elemental Cloud. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? If you go to the descriptions in some of our videos now, there will be a link for Elemental Cloud. I am not lying. If you click it, I make a little bit of a percentage off that as well. <laughs> but I'm not forcing you to buy it. I'm just advising you it's not a bad thing. You don't have to use our affiliate link. If you want to, great. That's great for us as well. But you don't have to. So I'm not going to tell you. You've got to click that link. There is a special discount. No. So if you want to just go to elements.com and just buy it yourself, go. If you want to help us out, you know, so I can afford more Pepsi Max cans, please go and click the link. I don't mind. Okay. Um, just checking the other questions. So you just got one minute left, one minute left to enter. And then I am jumping in and, I, and I've already been skipped. I can see them over here, by the way, the comments. So I've got two screens. I can see the comments coming in here and I will pick and I'm going to let you know. And this is going to disappoint some people. I know it will. OK, but I will not be. I'm not just going to hand them out because to anyone um, just because I know you. It's going to be based on what you've put there. So if I give it to anyone I know. Great news. If I give it to someone I don't know, great news for them as well, okay? But Elemental Cloud, I mean, I could I could, I could, go on and on about it in terms of the benefits of it. Uh, I wish it was out. I really wish it was out ages ago because I would have been signing up some of our websites to it. Of course, I really hope the purge server aspect kicks in somehow because that can really make a difference between what you and I see on the live website. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, uh, so basically what um, Ruman said, absolutely. If your client, if you advise you, I mean, look, anyone that works in business, if you've got an agency, if you're telling your client to get a domain off 123 Reg or to get site ground hosting or get Elementor, it would make sense for you to give them the affiliate link. Because whatever you little bit you make from it, it all adds up. Okay, right. The competition is now closed. I'm really sorry. The competition is not closed. No, many thanks, Jason. Um, do you know what, Jason? If you had entered, you wouldn't have won anyway. No, you would have. You might have had a chance. I'm joking. Right. I'm now going to literally, literally scroll down to the comments and I'm sorting them in the newest first. And I'm now just going to scroll down. So look, this, if you've got any questions, please ask them now. Please ask them now because I can still see them. There are a few good ones on here. There are a few good ones on here. I mean, any, I mean, is there anyone right now who's watching this who is totally against using Elemental Cloud? Please put it in your comment. You could still win a cloud license, by the way. Because I'm basing it on the comment you put in the other video. But if you were to right now say you're never going to use it, go ahead and put it. It's okay to be honest. I'd love to know. That will not affect your chance of winning over here, by the way. It will not affect your chance of winning over here, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start reeling off the names. Okay, I'm gonna start reeling off the names. So I'm gonna say winner. Okay, I'm gonna start reeling off some of the names. So here's one name who's definitely won. Okay, by the way, um, ooh, 
Uh, Oops, I can't spell your surname. I'm getting it wrong. Right. So, first winner, Rumen. You've won. Well done, Rumen. You've got you've got yourself a license, okay? And I'll be in touch with you, okay? So don't worry about that. Um, the next one will go for. The next one goes to. Gerald Anderson. Gerald, you are a winner as well. <laughs> Dave, don't worry. Thanks for letting me know, Dave. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, winner free. And this is going to sound so weird because I'm actually writing it after he's commented. Alberto Rosado, you get one as well. You get one as well. Whoa, I like this one. And I'm going to have to give one to Jans. Janes? You have won, Jans. Okay, cool. And the last one. The last one. Hmm. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because I'm, I'm umming and ahhing between two at the moment. And I'm not looking at who they are. I'm just focusing on what they've put. Drum roll. Drum roll. All right. Uh, winner five is... And I'm going to have to spell this one right. Uh, Jin, Din. There we go. There we go. They are the winners. They are the winners of today's chat. Live chat, Elemental Cloud. Um, I'm just going to stick around for another two minutes in case anyone has any more questions they want to ask about. I'm really sorry for anyone who joined in and didn't um, get a chance to, or didn't win. I'm really sorry. Look, if I'm able to get some more licenses, never say never, okay? Always remember, there's always a possibility that I might get some more. Um, I have my ways of getting some, right? If I get any more, I will do a f uh, another competition uh, again. I hope you've enjoyed entering this because it, um, it wasn't that difficult, was it? to enter, I don't think. Um, but have I written your name wrong? Have I written your name wrong? <laughs> Demand a recount. <laughs> the, the, um, trust me, there is no need for a recount. It's all, it's all subjective. It's all subjective. Look, um, thank you everyone that joined in for today's live chat. Uh, competition, five Elemental Cloud licenses. I will be in touch with all five of you. You won't get your licenses until Monday, by the way, okay? Because I have to actually inform Elemental, who will then who will then send you the special codes for your license, and that kind of stops you selling it on either as well, okay? But it's it's a license for a year, Elemental Cloud, okay, and your host. Sorry, Elemental Pro. Basically, it's the cloud, Elemental Pro, and your hosting paid for a year. Okay, cool. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that joined in. And please do remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow. We love doing videos about Elemental. We also do a mastery membership. Get in touch if you ever want to be mentored or coached. Not just with Elemental websites, but with marketing, branding, business, getting clients, Working with difficult clients, projects, proposals, stuff like that. Get in touch, okay? Look, take care. Um, it will be via email, yeah, but I am going to get in touch, okay? I will be getting in touch with you, all right? So don't worry, all right, J um, James, don't worry. Um, I, I will be getting in touch with you, don't worry. Um, so like, subscribe, 
like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much for attending. Sorry if you missed out. Hey, the next time I have something free to give away, we will be doing some further competitions because I love to make sure that we're helping you out. Take care. See you all soon.